Over the weekend, a past mortgage client saw a property that they were interested in and they called me and asked, should I use the listing agent to buy a house? Because they were wondering if a realtor shows me a house, do I have to use them? Which they're also wondering if there is a realtor discount for buying and selling. Should I use the listing agent to buy a house? Okay, first thing that we have to think about is we have to realize who the listing agent is working for. It's not you, the buyer, it is the seller. Because the seller, whether they have a personal relationship with the listing agent uh, or if it was a referral or they found them online, whatever the case may be, they have already engaged a listing agent to hire them to help them sell their home. Now, there's a very important distinction that you guys need to be aware of. With real estate agents, we have two different types of working relationships. The first is you can be a client. And the biggest difference is, other than us having fiduciary duties to you, is that we can provide you advice. Now, the second type of relationship is a customer. A customer, we cannot provide advice. We are just there to simply facilitate the transaction and move the deal forward in the best way possible, okay? So if you were to uh, approach a listing agent, then the listing agent has uh, two options. The first option is they continue to represent the seller and then you would be the, uh, as the buyer, you would be the customer. So you will not be getting advice. The second option for the listing agent is to treat both parties as a uh, customer. Now, put yourself in the shoes of the seller. If you were the seller, you would want your own advice, right? No different than if you had a court case and uh, you hired your own lawyer to represent you to win your case, right? You would want that advice. But as a customer, you don't get any of that. It's like showing up to courts with no lawyers to represent you. Now, as a seller, most sellers would not be okay uh, being treated as a customer uh, because that defeats the whole purpose of hiring a real estate agent. And so, and I would think that most agents would not do this. So when you're approaching the listing agent, uh, you know, you have to be able to know or understand those two important pieces. Is there a realtor discount for buying and selling? Now, most buyers believe that they're gonna get a discount if they use the listing agent because the listing agent will make double the commission. Now, generally, that's not true. The seller typically pays for the real estate commissions for both the listing agent and the buyer's agent. And the commissions are already set prior to the seller hiring the listing agent. So before it even hit the market, they have already engaged each other, worked out all the terms and figured out the fee structure for both listing agent and the buyer agent. So that's already set. So if the listing agent brings a buyer to the seller and the deal goes through, that listing agent would receive that buying side of the commission. Here's the reason why you typically wouldn't get a discount. It's because if the listing agent is representing the seller, they are also having to help the buyer go through the entire transaction. Now, even though they can't give advice, they still have to guide them step-by-step step all the way through to possession day. So the listing agent is basically working with two clients and doing double the duties. So it's kind of like, going to a listing agent and asking for a discount is, is like you showing up for work and your boss coming to you and saying, Alex, you're gonna be doing double the work, but we're not gonna pay you a single dollar. Or at the very least, we will compensate you, but at a huge discount. How would you feel? At the end of the day, the listing agent has double the duties. And if you ask top producing agents, most of them will say, no, you're not going to get a discount because you are leveraging their, uh, their expertise, their experience 
to be able to make the deal come together and move forward all the way to the end if you are going directly to the listing agent. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. And in fact, some people have reached out to me and said, that's what I've done and everything was fine. Well, even though it was fine, it's hard to argue that your experience could have been better. I mean, could you have negotiated more off the purchase price, saving you thousands of dollars? Could you have had better favorable terms so that you know, you could have an ideal possession day or a longer condition date so that you have a little bit more time and it's less stressful for you to go through the entire process or simply just some advice, right? I just find it pretty hard to argue where if one situation you had your own representation, you had someone advising you, consulting you along the way versus someone that doesn't right? You could have had your situation a little bit more optimized. You could have been in a little bit better position, but at the end of the day, you won't really know that because if you went through it and you thought everything was fine, then, you know, nothing wrong with that. Now, despite all of that, there is a benefit to using a listing agent and that is direct communication. If the listing agent you're approaching or wanting to work with seems personable, honest, uh, has integrity, and uh, seems like they're not really out to catch anyone on the wrong foot, then the communication between both parties will be a lot more seamless and smooth. And a good listing agent would be able to bring both sides of the party together for a mutually happy outcome. I've worked with countless agents where they were just confrontational. They weren't collaborative. They had their guard up. Maybe they were having a bad day, but they gave off a really bad vibe where it was just difficult to bring a deal together with them. No matter how nice or polite you are to them, it's just some of those personalities, right? Some people have big egos as well, and that usually gets in the way too. So if you're not working with someone that's collaborative, um, then, you know, going to the listing agent may not be a bad idea because at the end of the day, someone that gives off a bad vibe may not have the best positive outcome for you. If a realtor shows me a house, do I have to use them? The answer is it depends. Now, most real estate professionals will require buyers to sign a exclusive buyer's agreement. What that means is it's just an agreement that you both agree that you're working exclusively with each other. So that real estate agent is going to be your consultant, your person, the, 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 uh, the person that you get all your information from. Okay. If you signed a buyer's agreement, then yes, you do have to use that realtor if they're the ones who showed you the property. However, if you have not signed any buyer's agreement with any real estate agent, then you're not obligated to use anyone. So if you don't have one signed, you can call the listing agent and view the property and you are under no obligation to use that listing agent. Now, most agents, when you call them to view their listing, they're gonna ask you if you are working with an agent. So hopefully this has given you guys some clarity on whether or not you should approach a listing agent to help buy that home. Now, sometimes there's situations where you could and would probably benefit you going to a listing agent, but for the most part, and in my honest opinion, it's always better to have your own representation. If you guys are interested in working with us at the Live Interstate Real Estate team in Calgary, you're more than welcome to reach out to us, uh, but we're gonna ask you two main questions. The first question is, when was the last time you were pre-approved and you wanna get a pre-approval in this high interest rate environment? And two, when do you guys wanna take possession of your property? If we know those two important pieces, we know exactly which direction to take you guys in, okay? Uh, our contact link is down below, and I'm also gonna leave a link up here if you want to know what questions to ask a real estate agent if you're looking to hire them, okay? My name is Felix Chan, Calgary Realtor and Mortgage Broker with the Live Interstate Real Estate Team with Real Broker, and we'll see you next time.